Well, I'm not surprised by how blatant it is because I've been an observer of that particular community for years. But what what shocked and, and delighted me was that somebody came forward to call it out um, uh, from the Somali community. Uh, but let me say at the, at the top, um, I don't think this is limited to the Somali immigrant community, which is the largest Somali population, like outside of Mogadishu here in Minnesota. I think it's widespread. And if you go, I don't know if your listeners have, have had a chance to, to look at the video you're talking about, but if you go all the way to the end of the first one, um, uh, what's, Omar Jamal says, this is the DFL. It's endemic to, the DFL stands for Democratic Farm Labor. Sorry, it's the Democrat Party here in Minnesota. And um, he says, this is, this is the machine. And what's so marvelous is he says, if we don't fix this, we lose our country. Um, and, I, you know, I, I really appreciate him sticking his neck out because if you watch the second Veritas, uh, Project Veritas video, he talks about how the, the money that these ballot harvesters are getting to buy votes in Minneapolis are sending that cash as buy-off money to El Shabaab mm -hmm. down in Somalia. Now, my impression is that Rhode Island's got its own uh, Im immigrant population, and you might be having some of the, the same problems there.